What do you think it was about Mo that touched so many people so deeply and so genuinely? Well, I think first of all, when you hear his story, um, it does. Like if you have a heart, it's, it's going to it's gonna touch you. He has the most infectious laugh, which I know everyone on your show has heard uh, when he calls in. And, like, realistically, you never know what he's going to say. I mean, we were at Orioles Fan Fest, and he told Manny Machado not to get suspended. Um, <laughs> you know, we're doing the show with John Harbaugh, and he said he's, he thought he thought the Tennessee <laughs> Titans were, were a little bit more prepared. And, I mean, he doesn't mean it to – like, he's just a kid. Um, and sometimes we forget it because he is so intelligent when it comes to sports, and he knows what he's talking about. Um, and then he is. He's a kid at heart. You're over there with him, and he's watching SpongeBob, and he's enjoying that. Uh, but you know more than anything, it's just how it's just how positive he is. Like it, it's so incredible to see a kid that's been dealt the worst hand. I mean, he's been in a hospital over seventy five percent of his life. Um, he's blind, but he doesn't he, he doesn't let you know that he's blind. He always says it's nice to see you. Uh, you know, I'm playing video games with him. People go, "How does he play video games?" I said, "Well, first off, he hits a ton of buttons." But, like, he's so intelligent that he'll listen to someone else play those video games on YouTube, and then he can he, he picks up all the sounds. I mean, it's he's just an impressive young man, and when you meet him, um, it, it really does. It changes your life, and, um, you know, he stole a big piece of my heart. And, um, you know, it's kind of weird because at first, you know, I, I coach basketball here, and I got two kids that are 18 and 17, and I've coached them their whole lives. And I, I love basketball, and, and I, all these kids that I've been coaching, they've I become not their father, but it's all, I've been like a father figure to a lot of them. Where they come over, they they hang out at the house, or I'm taking them to tournaments, or they're spending weekends with me, whatever it is. And at first, it started off with Mo, like you know, kind of being like that father figure. Hey, how you doing, little guy? And then, and then he became my friend, which is I, I don't know if it's strange to say that you befriend a a young child. And by the end of all this, it, it felt like he was my little brother. And, um, yeah, this one cuts deep.